Well, it turned out to be a pretty busy weekend and a lot of fun too. Um, my church planned to be in the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade and our church uh, sponsors and helps with a uh, organization that feeds kids and has an after school program for them and uh, so we partnered with them and were in the parade and I wasn't really planning to be in it because uh, Honey Baby had some other things she needed to do but the pastor was talking about it and I asked him I said hey you you want me to bring that old Studebaker and can you use that in prayer and he said oh yeah bring it uh, this guy in the parade it, uh, can't walk the parade route and he can ride in there so I, I took it and took him and man it turned out to be a lot of fun so today's the next day I got some videos made and put up uh, Y'all may remember a long time ago I bought this steel. I brought it home. I just kind of piled it here, which is not very pretty. And it really wasn't ever intended to be the, its final resting place. So what I'm going to do today is still cool enough where if I was in the garage working on an engine, I'd be chilly unless I ran the heater. So I thought what I'd do instead is get the old Ford tractor out and fire it up. It needs to be run anyway and pick these up and take them back there. I've got a place a little further back, back in the woods back there where I can sit them, where they'll be a bit more out of sight. And that will also clear out some space here because I may wind up building a, another shed here. And the reason for that is, uh, Honey Baby and them are dancing in the garage now and that's fine uh, and I don't mind it. But I was thinking, well, it'd be nice to have another shed. And two, I'm going to want to put that rambler in the shed once I get it running. And of course, the rat rod's under the side shed. But if I had a shed back here, I could probably put the Studebaker and the rambler back in here. Get it out of the weather anyway. That way this shed would be open for them to dance in. I kind of like the idea of them doing their dance practices in there. I think it's neat. And y'all may not know, I may have, may have said this and I may not have, but... Uh, they're planning to go to a world championship dance in February and competing. So that's a big deal, you know, for for somebody like my little wife to be a, going to be a <laughs> professional dancer, competing to be a world champion. That's to me, that's just amazing. I never married a woman uh, <laughs> that had such talent and ambition like that and it's, it really tickles me but anyway uh, so i'm gonna get the tie odor over there and pull that little trailer out and then i'm gonna get my tractor in there and pick up those big pieces i'm gonna take them back in there i have been in the process and y'all been watching me of cleaning up back here you know i've got that shed and i got some stacks for some lumber and some stacks for some steel and some stuff out back another metal pile so I like to keep things neat around here, otherwise it gets to looking trashy and I don't want it to look trashy. So This one should be ready to go. I charged the battery on it the other day. They sit around a lot, the battery will go dead, and this one does tend to sit around. I tend not to use this one unless I need to, uh, and I do need it, I do use it to pull that big trailer with, especially if I'm hauling like a car or a tractor or something like that. You know? Well, my, my thing looks dirty, but I don't think it's my lens. I think it's my screen there. I'll, I'll wipe that off with a dirty t-shirt when I get a chance. Alrighty then. <laughs> 